It says, By mercy and truth iniquity is purged, and by the fear of the Lord men depart from evil. How do you deal with sin in your home, workplace, or with friends? The two most common fleshly responses to sin are either to overreact to it or to ignore it. When we ignore sin often enough, though, eventually there will be an overreaction. You can only press it down for so long. Solomon's words here correct both responses. First of all, truth is needed. A commitment to truth refuses to ignore sin. It observes it and applies God's word to the matter with wisdom and clarity. But mercy requires us to look upon the person who sins the way that Jesus did. It extends... Mercy extends God's kindness to the spouse, child, sibling, co-worker, or boss who doesn't deserve it. Because even though they don't deserve it, we do not deserve it either. And we have received it in greater measure than we will ever know. Exercising both virtues, mercy and truth, together purges sin from a place. It makes it easier to confess and restore relationships. And it brings the kingdom of God to bear in your home, your neighborhood, your church, and your school or workplace. So the next time you're confronted with someone's sin, deal with it in the necessary way, whether through discipline, through conversation, etc. But keep mercy and truth at the center of your approach.